At Philadelphia, we encourage them to know more than dancing. A lot of my dancers have gotten their degrees while they're in the company, and the fact that we operate and rehearse evenings it allows them to uh, work in the mornings or teach in the mornings or go to school in the morning. Uh, in a lot of places, they rehearse from 10 to 4. We rehearse at night from 7 to 10.30. And that kind of works because once they're out, they're used to dancing at night. So their energy level is good at night. And people talk about Philodanko's high energy. But I think it's because they're used to performing in the evening. And I think that they should use an opportunity while they're still growing or still working to further their education and be aware that there are other opportunities after dancing because you can't dance forever. I look at one of the girls in there now who uh, is the head of the dance department and has a PhD. And I'm like, I know she got that while she was at Danko. And that was hard. Sometimes we're on the bus in Europe and you see a light on in the back of the bus, you know, someone's doing their homework. So I think they have to think ahead and not think of just, I'm dancing now because when they stop dancing, they have to be prepared. And the fact that you can get a degree in dance. When I was coming up, you had to get a degree in physical education. So you can get a degree in so many things relevant to dance, not just dance. Well, you know, when I decided I wanted to have a dancing school first, uh, it was because of the opportunities I didn't get. And I kept saying, you got to make it available for someone else. Because times are changing. We, I'm talking about the 30s and 40s, and then here we are in the 60s and 70s. I'm like, okay, how do I provide opportunities for others? You can't say, you can't be angry because you didn't get the opportunity. You have to say, well, how else can I help? And when I started IABD and invited these other women into it, they were willing to step along with me. And that to me was incredible. And I think we have to look at the broad picture of the country and now of the world because we're global with everything we do. Uh, that it's important that youngsters have an opportunity. And times haven't changed. Here in, in Pennsylvania, uh, the Pennsylvania Ballet, I started Philodanko because Pennsylvania Valley wasn't hiring black youngsters. And now, 47 years later, for the first time, they have two. So there is still a lot of work to be done, and we have to support each other. We don't perform as much as other organizations, so we have to provide opportunities for ourselves. So I think uh, having that support system of the other four ladies, you know, is important to me because I see what they do, and I'm like, well, I gotta do that too. Or I, not that I have to keep up with them, or or be uh, in competition with them, how can we continue to strengthen what each of us do?